Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with some more Rise of Mordor action view today and as you can probably tell from the title there are some new units. The Rise of Mordor submod is basically updated and it's nearly ready to come out and they've, uh, well I'm allowed to have a look at some of the uh, new units that are uh, available. Um, there are some, well there's a few missing factions uh, that are usually in their like area door and like the uh, old elven factions but of Imladris and I'm pretty sure they had a Linden of their own as well. But we have Dol Amroth back. And we have uh, the Belafast Fleet Warriors here. A new shock infantry unit to match. Go with the uh, Haven Guard. A cheaper unit uh, to bring. But these guys got a big old axe in compared to the uh, Haven Guard with their big swords. And there are I think one or two other new units. I can't see masses of new stuff. We are facing Dorwin in today who also have a new unit. So we'll just slow it down quickly. Um, I'm not entirely sure but I think these guys are new. The Belafast Marines. They could not. They might not be. It's been a long time since I played the Rise of Mordor sub mod, but they do look kind of new. Um, like Javi unit, I'm not really sure they might already be in it. But there is another unit that I'm pretty sure has definitely not been in it before. And that is these guys, the Belafast Men at Arms. They're sort of like a uh, l pretty, well, like levy unit. They kind of remind me of like the uh, Militia for Gondor. But yeah, these guys are like the... Uh, they one of the cheapest uh, units that you can get now for Dolan. I'm pretty sure they're like the second uh, most, uh, the second cheapest sword infantry unit you can get. The and the, uh, I'm pretty the sure unit. that the only Dolanian units I can see, there's another one I'm not quite sure about. I'm not sure whether they already had these ranger, the like mounted rangers, but I've never seen these guys before. Like, I'm pretty sure I haven't seen them in the roster. They do look pretty damn nice, and we got them on the battlefield. But I'm pretty sure the only other unit I've seen that I've never seen before is these guys the Darwinian thorn archers these guys I've never seen before they're a pretty low tier they're again like the second cheapest uh, arch unit you can bring as Darwinian as like a load of cavalry goes through them but they uh, they do look pretty cool and I'm pretty sure that's kind of it I don't think Darwinian's got anything else I've never I'm not sure whether you can have the paladins of the Vinter Gar uh, court as a general before but you can now um, but like I said, it's been a long time since I played the sub mod. I played mainly uh, just the base game for feels like forever. But uh, we finally have the sub mod back with some uh, new units and factions. Good to see Darwin and Dol Amroth back. And uh, we have just a, a battle against the AI here today, just to kind of show it off as a, it's kind of just a, a late video just to come in and just show off this mod because. I thought you guys would like to see what is new. And if you'd like to see more Rise of Mordor action, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support as we go for that 2k milestone. And uh, we'll see the clash of infantry as it happens here. We've got like Darwinian Protectors here, a really good unit, uh, sword unit, well, shock infantry unit for the uh, Darwinian faction, but they seem to be just taking their time. And here we go, the main clash. It looks like it's going to be like... Vinter Cork uh, Swordsman going in and various other stuff. And we've got the Sea Ward Infantry. I don't know whether some of these units have probably got like a bit of a uh, redo. But I don't think they have. Maybe these uh, Sea Ward Infantry look ever so slightly different. I think they, their armor looks ever so slightly different. They don't look like they look so much like Gondor now. I mean, they still do. Um, but they don't look just quite like Gondola. They, I think they were, their armor was a little bit more ornate than this. It's all a bit like the uh, dismounted Knights of Imrahil, which are uh, back here somewhere. There they are. Dismounted Knights of Imrahil. Chilling here, waiting for the time to go in. We're getting absolutely focused down by the sheer amount of archers back there. And as you can see, there is now shot cavalry coming into the back. We have some uh, Amrothian... Oh no, these are seawater spear cavalry, but we do have some Amrothian uh, scouts at the back somewhere as well. But yeah, here we go, the spear, spear cavalry coming in. And they are going to run down these guys. And we got some, uh, I think this is the general unit as well coming in. So that's a really good shock infantry unit. They will probably, uh, they'll probably destroy most of this uh, spear cavalry unit. Oh, unless the general just decides to fall fall back and not fight but yeah we're just going to slow down these, some of these Athala Rangers they're pretty useful so we just want to kind of limit their uh, archery ability if possible they do have some uh, halberds I mean they're just a pike they're a polearm unit apparently they used to be a pike unit but these uh, Vinland uh, watchmen here they've kind of got the advantage on this because Dolan does not have a polearm unit so it will be interesting to see whether they can be effective but as you can see on the far flank, we do have 
some breaking going on. We have some uh, Knights of Hell going in there. And yeah, the uh, the men at arms, the Belafast men at arms did break. But that's fine because we've got time for the uh, Belafast uh, fleet. Uh, I want to keep calling them fl fleet protectors, but I'm not sure if that's right. Fleet warriors. Fleet warriors, yes. I'm mixing Darwinian protectors and fleet warriors to make fleet protectors. But uh, we'll see these guys in action now and uh, see whether they can do their bit. I have a feeling that they're probably going to get a bit outmatched here, but maybe with the support of the uh, Knights of Amarhill, they'll do just okay. Actually, these aren't Knights of Amarhill. These are Seaward Spear Infantry. Because the Fleet Warriors are definitely cheaper than the uh, Door Winning Protectors. You can just tell from the, the armor that those Door Winning Protectors are goddamn elite with that huge sword. And uh, yeah, some more broken units like the Belafast Men at Arms going in. And it's just allowing another... Uh, Another unit over here, some more fleet warriors to come across and come and deal with this. Just sending in tiny units of Belafast Marines here. Our general is uh, in combat over here. He's actually losing decisively, but I mean, he's got to support some spears who should win this in time. He's fighting some Vinter Court ca uh, spear cavalry off, I'm pretty sure they're called or something like that. Or mounted Vinter Coast uh, Court Guards. And surprisingly, actually, uh, like the Knights of the Silver Swan are actually losing this fight to, again, Vinter Court Guards and uh, mounted ones. Which is kind of surprising because the cost difference is kind of like pretty amazing. It's pretty shocking. But uh, this unit here, this is a 2v1. So these uh, Knights of the Silver Swan should win this pretty easily. They do look glorious. It's great to see both factions back on the battlefield. And I uh, can't wait to do like more like online battles with these factions. And here we go. Fleet Warriors coming in. And they're chopping down some of these door winning protectors. They're already pretty beaten up. They've already had to fight in several fights. So maybe these uh, fleet warriors will have a chance. Who knows? But I mean, you can see the armor difference. These guys, like the fleet warriors, have barely got any armor. Just really got like a padded jacket and some chainmail. Like the door winning protectors are like solid armor. And you can see over here the cavalry is still look, causing a lot of damage for the. Dawnian forces here. They're actually going to get pincered by some uh, Amaruthian knights. Oh, no, not knights, uh, squires. These guys wish they were knights. But, uh, I mean, they are going to probably break this unit here eventually. And there's constantly cavalry, like in the back here, just doing some damage. Spear cavalry there, for instance. Breaking a lot of stuff on this flank here with a lot of hammer and anvils from more, uh, from more squires. But still, it is a pretty... Dicey affair. I mean, the center is looking pretty bad for Dol Amroth here. As we'll just go through this front line. You can see the, uh, the pikes here still holding their line. The Vinland watchmen. We've got some uh, Vinland spears in here as well. Vinland guard spears. They'll hold the line for a long time. I think this, this is the uh, another spear unit here. These guys are pretty awesome. Do remind me, like, Door Winning, I always think is, like, by the sea because they have, like, these shell sort of shields going on, but they're really not. Like, Door Winning and, like, Ravanian is, like, very much a landlocked area. There's no sea near it. Dol Amroth's the one with the, uh, with the sea border. But there you go. So these uh, Fleet Warriors, the fresh unit Fleet Warriors, uh, actually lost. This fight, there's no surprise there. I mean, there's another unit now join, uh, rejoining the fight, it's gonna flank on in, so maybe that will be enough. But I mean, these uh, Ravanian protectors here are still like alive, they're still kicking. You can see the uh, chaos going on in there, the big axes of Dol Amroth slicing down. But it does look like the balance of power is slowly shifting in favor of Dol Amroth. No surprise there as I'm in command. But I mean, it's taken a lot. I mean, we've lost a lot of cavalry out here just fighting one. I mean, only a couple of units of intercourt uh, guards. I mean, we're finally going to win this fight here. The general is finally won here beating the uh, cavalry. They're now freed up. But, I mean, there's a lot of archers here and horse archers still doing a lot of damage. I mean, we've broken this flank and we've got a lot of troops now here freed up. But, uh... We are still losing in the middle, I'd say. We're still holding, we're holding, but only just. And uh, we've got some merchant escorts just joining the fight here, coming to fight some of these spear cavalry here. You may recognize quite a lot of these units from Dale, Ravan, uh, well, I keep wanting to call them Ravanian, but uh, 
Darwin and Dale share a fairly similar fa uh, like roster, which is uh, no surprise because they are from the same part of the world. Here you go, you can see this Mountain Knights in Hill going in. Doing their best. These guys are pretty damn elite. And when fighting this, I felt like Dol Amroth had had a bit of a nerf. I feel like these these guys are tanks, the Knights of Imrahil, the dismounted ones. And the mounted ones are as well. But they just felt like they were not up to the standard fighting these Vinland uh, guards, the Spirit and the Sword variants. So maybe they did get a bit of a, a, a debuff. I haven't really checked out the stats and I can't honestly remember what they were before. But uh, they certainly feel weaker and I mean just seeing like the seawater uh, swords break quite often and losing in combat here to Vinland guards I mean that is in, in fairness to Vinland guards but they were like having a hard time against Vinter court swordsman here and uh, I felt like the seawater uh, sword infantry it was used to be really really strong and really really good just wasn't packing a punch as much it may have not helped that there was like pikes in here and they were forcing back the uh, forcing back the swords but who knows I'll have to try it out in like a Moi player and see what happens. You can see the uh, the pikes now are in a bit of a... Are getting a bit too close and the uh, knights of uh, Imrahil are now sort of getting within the pike length and doing a bit... Oh, look at that guy. He just got like... He tried to grab the, sp uh, the sword and just got stabbed in the face. Poor man. Poor, poor man. And yeah, there you go. That was enough. Just watching that one little move the Vinland Watchman broke. They were like, God, oh, no one can stop their swords. And here we go, we're going to have a nasty cavalry charge here by the Knights of the Silver Swan. Into the back of the Vinland Guard. I mean, they're pretty exhausted, so no surprise. I mean, they're getting hailed with arrows as well. There is a pretty... Look, the ground is just shaking with the sheer amount of cavalry here. And that is uh, certainly causing these units to lose decisively. There's another unit of Spear Paladins here. This is what they are. They're not a uh, Vinland Guard. I think that's just the Sword variant. But yeah, these uh, Spear Paladins. Oh, that was brutal. That is brutal. This cavalry is uh, should not have charged into that. It kind of just bounced off. and They were moving at the time. I was like, I will catch them. But uh, yeah, it should not charge into Spear Wall like this. And at this point, I think the General has died for... Or he's about to die here. Because he is actually wavering. And there you go. He's just died. Some Haven Guard got sent in along with a unit of uh, Amorothian scouts. So on their own, the scouts would have been useless. But with the uh, Haven Guard down here, with their big, huge swords, they did their best. And they chopped down that general. That's what you need. You need to just hold like a cavalry unit in place and then get some shock up to support, which is what happened here. And now the morale has shattered for, Do uh, for Dol Amroth. No, uh, absolutely not. For Dorwinian. Dol Amroth's morale is just about fine. There could be... Uh, well, it could be damaged here if the general dies in this combat fight in the spear wall, which is winning. Um, so he needs to be careful. But uh, yeah, you can see the balance power is massively now in favor of Dol Amroth. And that's kind of just going to wrap up the battle, but uh, we'll see as the end goes on. But uh, yeah, it was quite fun to see some of these new units in action. Uh, certainly the Belafast uh, fleet warriors, they could be pretty useful. I think certainly they went up against some pretty hard units. If they were going up against other swords, possibly, and spears, they would have been just fine. Uh, but they went up against door winning protectors, which are a really good unit and more expensive than the uh, fleet warriors themselves. So that's no surprise that they had a hard time there. Look at these Avari marksmen. They're a really good unit. They fight. They're just, they remind me of, like elves because they fight so well in combat. And they've got like that curved blade as well. And they're just, yeah, really good in combat, really good with their bows. They're only limited to three of them though. But yeah, they're holding up all this. At this point... There was just no tactics in it. It was just overwhelm a unit. But it is slowing down. Uh, like, this one unit is slowing down the entire army, allowing the others to, like, pick them off. And they're kind of like their, their faces are kind of phasing through the hoods. That's something that they might need to just kind of keep an eye on with the uh, sub mod. I don't know if that's, like, just a little glitch or something like that. But just little small, like, finesses like that mainly sorting out. But, uh, yeah, the Belfast Marines have done okay. As well, they've just been throwing their javies, causing a lot of damage. You can see, look at that volley. That's going to be nasty. Barely taking out any of those Varia uh, marksmen. Though. I don't think he took out a single one. Yeah. Oh, that's a brutal charge. Into these Athala Rangers here. Yeah, these poor Rangers just getting absolutely mowed down. Now they're in amongst the Avaria marksmen as well. I mean, they just don't even care at this point to Dolan. They're just gunning down everything. And there's a chain route. All this cavalry is broken. 
And it's just really down to this arch unit there. And there you go. That is the end of the battle. Victory. Really, everything else is broken. Day. But yeah, it's been fun to watch um, some of these new units. And it's good to see Dol Anaroth back. So uh, we'll end the replay and have a look at some of the end results quickly. Um, my general here getting 115 kills, which is pretty solid. Yeah, these Belafast men-at-arms, men not that great at all. They uh, just kind of... Just a meat shield, really. They honestly didn't do much. The Seaward Sword Infantry getting 101, 179 kills. This is still pretty solid, actually. Still getting some really good kills. And that one still had a lot of, uh, a lot of health left, a lot of men left. So you could have done a lot more. The Knights of Emma Hill still doing uh, well. Packing a punch, 182 kills, 157. Still doing really well. The Belafast, Belafast Fleet Warriors getting 230 kills. So that's really good. So uh, no surprises there. Um, I think they were fighting in the amongst the uh, Swords Art unit. Didn't have to fight the Dorwinian protects, but it did really well. And the Haven Guard, as always, being absolute champs. 424 kills. They are insane. Definitely the unit you want to bring. If you have the funds, bring these guys. These are insane. Um, then Tarnation Spears, 116. is pretty solid. And they actually have a fairly strong amount of like troops left. Seawall's Spear Infantry, actually the more expensive uh, Spear unit. Not faring so well, but they were facing uh, the Protectors as well. So I think they probably just got chewed up there. And then the uh, Marksman and the Nimrodel Rangers not getting massive kills. They wouldn't really, didn't really use them to great effect. Um, I think I had them mainly focused down on other archers. And the Belafast Marines getting 82 kills, which is not too shabby. The Amaruthian uh, Squires getting 298 kills, which is actually pretty good. Uh, more than any of the Knights of the Silver Swan, who only got 169 kills. And then Dorwinian, uh, his general only getting, well, the AI is generally only getting 38 kills. I mean, there's nothing amazing here. It's mainly like the door winning protectors. 259 kills, 214. 220 for the Vinland Guards. They did pretty well. Um, in fairness, even though these Vinter Court Swordsmen were, like, shaping up quite well against the uh, Seaward Sword Infantry, they uh, they didn't get that many kills. They got less than any of the uh, Seaward Swords. Um, then the door winning Spear Paladins getting 142, the best one there. The uh, Watchmen getting 107. Uh, the archers, again, nothing great. Actually, some of these uh, Dorian Thoron archers actually doing better than some of the more expensive Athala rangers. And the Yuvari marksmen. Um, and then the cavalry, I think, like no, again, none of them did really well. They just kind of got focused down and got uh, either killed off by the cavalry here of the swans or just, like, focused down by uh, archers. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.